Four months after his DUI arrest, Justin Timberlake postponed his Tuesday night performance in Newark, New Jersey due to an injury. The musician, 43, informed his followers that the event had been postponed early on Tuesday via his Instagram account. He promised ticket buyers that the tour date would be rescheduled as soon as possible, but he withheld the details of the injury that is preventing me from performing. He wrote, I swear I'll make it all up to you and give you the show you deserve. I appreciate your understanding, everyone. I am always grateful for your support. Shortly after midnight on June 18th, Timberlake was pulled over following his departure from the American Hotel in Sag Harbor, the Hamptons, leading to his arrest for DUI. He expressed regret at the postponement of tonight's show on Instagram on Tuesday. I'm unable to perform because of an injury, he told fans. I'm really disappointed to not see you all, but I'm working to reschedule ASAP. I'll make it right and give you all the show you're due. I appreciate your understanding, everyone. I am always grateful for your support. The singer of Sexy Back was supposed to play the Prudential Center in Newark on a date of his Forget Tomorrow World Tour. Timberlake's next performance is still set to happen this Friday night at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, three days from now. His injury coincides with the revelation that, the night of his DUI arrest, he had gone out with Estee Stanley, the former stylist of his wife Jessica Biel. According to insiders, Timberlake was stopped that evening after leaving the American Hotel in Sag Harbor, where he had been joined by Stanley, an interior designer and stylist, and her producer husband Byron First. She had previously dressed celebrities including Demi Moore, Brad Pitt, and Penelope Cruz in addition to Beale. In 2012, Stanley threw Beale and Timberlake an engagement party at her house in Los Angeles. Stanley is renowned not just as a stylist but also as an interior decorator. She has completed renovations on Timberlake and Beale's house, Leah Michelle and Patrick Dempsey's, and Mary Kate and Ashley Olson's. She even collaborated with Timberlake to launch the chic home decor line Homement in 2012. This truly was a joint effort with Estee, Timberlake stated at the time. If we weren't involved, I doubt I would have done it. We truly share the same vision. We've known each other for a very long time and have collaborated on my residences. Additionally, the family-friendly restaurant Au Fudge, which Staley, Beale and Greenleaf entrepreneur John Rollo launched in 2016, closed in 2018. She also referred to Timberlake and Beale as practically my family at that time. According to reports, Timberlake's buddies attempted to step in when he was being arrested. Officers were allegedly asked by a woman, are you going to arrest Justin Timberlake? Then, according to an insider, offered to drive him home. After his incarceration, she was later permitted to drive his rental car to her house. After striking a plea deal in his DWI case, Timberlake will not be prosecuted for driving while intoxicated. Rather, he entered a guilty plea to a lesser infraction of driving while intoxicated. Timberlake avoids having a criminal record, something he would have if the initial misdemeanor accusation had been upheld, by entering a plea. He consented to pay a $260 surcharge in addition to the $500 maximum fine as part of the plea agreement. A significant component to the deal, insiders say, is Timberlake's willingness to perform a public service video for the charity Mothers Against Drunk Driving. At first, Judge Carl Irace expressed his disapproval of the suggested remark, saying he would have preferred a public service broadcast. He did, however, finally agree to the terms of the transaction. Eddie Burke Jr., Timberlake's attorney, negotiated a plea agreement. Burke Jr. has vehemently denied that his client was intoxicated at the time of his detention. Because he declined to take a breathalyzer test when he was pulled over, Timberlake will continue to have his New York driver's license suspended for six months. The pop diva spent the night out with friends in Sag Harbor, an upscale Hamptons neighborhood, before being taken into custody in the early hours of June 18. According to authorities, he ran a stop sign while operating his BMW X7, which resulted in his pullover. The pop artist was reportedly pulled over by local police when they saw him veering across the road as they were following him. Officers saw that the performer was glassy-eyed and had a heavy alcohol stench coming from him after he had stopped, according to a police report. According to the court documents, the defendant exhibited bloodshot and glassy eyes, a strong alcoholic beverage odor coming from his breath, difficulty dividing his focus, slower speech, 
unsteadiness when walking and poor performance on all standardized field sobriety tests. After doing a field sobriety test and being requested to take a breathalyzer test, the father of two declined. According to the records, Timberlake informed the officer he was going home with some pals and that he had had one martini. According to a source, Timberlake accepted a plea deal because he wants to move on, stressing that he is a family man and that this is his main priority. He and Beale share kids Silas, Nine, and Phineas for. When Timberlake was younger, he performed as a Disney Mouseketeer, sharing the stage with Britney Spears, who would later become his girlfriend. One of pop music's most significant characters in the early 2000s, Timberlake first gained recognition as a member of the massive boy band NSYNC. In 2002, he started a solo musical career.